you put on a rocking set of gel nails on your customer, two weeks goes by, she comes back in the salon and she needs a fill. We're gonna show you just how easy and fast a gel nail fill is, right now on Nail School. All right, dude, gel fills, what's the scoop? It's really easy. <clears throat> As you can see, the nail has grown right to here after two weeks. And what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to fill the natural nail, right? In the least amount of time, right? Uh, and as quickly as we possibly can. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up, how to take the necessary steps in order to have success every single time. Okay, so what we wanna be able to do is we wanna be able to push our client's cuticles back, right? And the first thing I need to do is I need to assess if there's any lifting. If there's not any lifting, then what I'm gonna be able to do is quickly remove shine from the exposed natural nail before we actually get into application. So here's the thing. Using a hand file is counterproductive. Being able to remove the shine from such a small area with a surface area that's this big is a nightmare. Not only that, getting the edges of the file down into that area without actually scarring the natural nail is also really difficult. You have to have good electric filing skills in order to remove shine without doing damage to the natural nail. And I'm gonna show you what zones on the barrel you're going to use. Okay, so the speed of the barrel should be gentle. You'll notice that like if I actually take it to my skin, even with the edge, it's very, very gentle. You don't want an aggressive speed. You almost want to tickle, right? To tickle the skin. What I'm going to do is you guys, what I wanna do, I wanna use zone one of the barrel. Zone one is this part right here not the middle or the back end, zone one of my barrel to gently remove shine around the nail, okay? So I'm gonna work in one direction, tickle, 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 and what I'm doing is I'm tickling away, right? Any shine that is there. Then as soon as I remove shine, right, and, and the great thing about this barrel is even if I'm pushing up against the skin, it's not going to cut, right? Now what I want to be able to do is I want to remove shine, right? And I don't have to do it from the whole entire nail. I can remove shine up to this area right here, okay? And as you can see, everything blends through quite fast. The reason why I do not remove shine from the whole entire nail is because I'm going to fill the exposed natural nail and bring the gel out to probably about the middle of the nail and then set it. After we're done cleaning up the back, what we're gonna do is take swipe and what we're going to do is we're going to clean, right? Clean the nail. I'm going to take protein bond and I'm going to apply it to the exposed natural nail. If you get protein bond on the surface of the gel, that's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the base gel, right? What I wanna be able to do is pick out a really small amount, okay? I wanna make sure that when I push it, into that cuticle area, I am forcing it into the natural nail. Notice that I'm pushing it into the natural nail and I'm pulling the base all the way, right, over, right, all the way over to this point, not over the whole entire nail. I just need it in the area where I'm going to fill, okay? I'm going to set this inside the light for 60 seconds. I'm going to use concealer pink. I'm going to get a really, 
All right, small amount. Okay. Now, what I wanna do is I need to fill the back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in front of the bead and look how I'm actually pillowing it to the cuticle area in front of the bead to pillow it. Now, what I wanna be able to do is as soon as I get it to the back, you see how I'm keeping contact with the surface, keeping contact with the surface. I don't wanna pull it away. I wanna keep the gel in front of the brush, right? So most of the gel is back here. Then as soon as I get it from side to side from the surface, I could lightly pull and fill the nail. And then you can see what ends up happening, right? I end up filling all of the exposed natural nail. That is gonna go inside the LED for another 60 seconds. As soon as it's done, we're going to wipe it, file it into shape, and apply our finished gel. We're going to take swipe. We're going to wipe off the tacky layer. We're going to use the Young Nails Fine Safety Bit. I don't really have that much to file. Normally you can go from file to finish, but if I buff the surface, especially with the hard gel, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of protein bond and just apply it on the surface. And what it'll do is it'll keep your top gels from chipping. I'll just apply a nice even coat from cuticle to free edge. Remember, the steps to doing a gel fill are easy. Good preparation, right? Easy application and proper finishing. You're gonna be able to get your client in and out just like that.